first drill, what we call is no feet, no shoulders, uh, one hand or lead hand, which is what we're going to do is we're going to just simply go and get a stance, Wes, right by the ball, and what we're going to do here is he's not allowed to move his feet or his shoulders. All we're going to do is take the bottom hand straight to the baseball. We want to just take the hand and release the barrel. And what we want to do, if you see Wes's uh, palm here, or his, his hand here, you can put a quarter on that hand. You should be able to put a quarter on that hand pretty much for his whole swing. We don't want to see this. So we take the, the ball, we put it a little bit out front, a little away from him, and now we want to try and drive that ball over the second baseman's uh, head. Now as a coach, what you want to look at is real simple. Hand straight to baseball. That's it. Straight line. We don't want to see it, it loop. We don't want to see the barrel come around. Right, go ahead. Step on the right. Straight through. Good. Stand down and through. Take it right to it. There we go. Good. And you see, the very first one, he got a little separation. Hand came out a little bit. The rest of them, he stayed inside, took the hand of the baseball, and then just let the barrel go. Now we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to incorporate the top hand. Let me step on this side for a second. I'll explain it to you. Nothing has changed here. All we're going to do now is we're going to put the top hand on the bat. We're going to leave the, the bat, uh, the, the hand open. Now what that's going to do is, as, as Wes, go ahead and do a slow motion, as he pulls the hands to the ball, watch how the bat automatically drops down into what's called the hitting zone. Can you, can you explain what a hitting zone is compared to the strike zone? Well, to me, your hitting zone, to me, is from the point of contact right here point of contact to probably 10 to 12 inches past contact. That to me is the hitting zone. Right. That to me is extension. So many people get caught up, you know, into the strike zone or whatever. The, the hitting zone is when you deliver, your hands delivers the barrel, boom, point of contact, hitting zone starts here at the point of contact, and it still goes probably about a good foot, 10 inches to a foot. That is to me is the hitting zone. And then you come, then you come out of the hitting zone. Exactly. You got to remember, a, a pitcher is throwing the ball from a mound, the raised mound, and the ball is coming down at an angle. The hitting zone is, is the area in which we can make contact with that, get that bat on that plane, and and continue on that plane. The earlier we can get the barrel into the into the hitting zone, and the longer we keep it in the hitting zone, is uh, what I call in hitting is maximizing your opportunity. If you're a little early, a little late, we still make good contact. Um, you'll hear a lot of hitting instructors say, we want to keep the bat in the zone for a long time. That, I don't want you to be confused with a long swing. What we mean is that, that for, it, for his swing, we want to get that bat in the zone and keep it in the zone for as long as we can. And I want you to think about doing this. It's kind of like a golf club. If you ever seen a guy, uh, when he first starts to play golf, he hits it off the toe a lot and hits it on the ground. Well, the golf club is designed to hit the ball in the air. All you got to do is take the club straight down on the baseball, and it will go. Doing this drill is the same thing. By having the hand open, all you have to do is take your hands to the baseball. The bat will automatically go into the, into the hitting zone and stay in the hitting zone. <clears throat> Now one of the things I want